Hello there, my name of course is John Doe, I'm right here in Tokyo, Japan, and we're going to do a special edition of the Ghost Layers Report. We'll do another Comrade Let's Talk video where I give a short little update on the channel and we talk about a topic of interest. Now this is my first video actually getting back into uploading and being more involved in YouTube, watching other people's videos, things like that. I took the first part of January off to kind of... um settle into the, the new year and, and figure out my mindset for the year and all that but I do apologize if you were expecting uploads and more interaction it hasn't happened that's going to change starting with this video so I do appreciate all of you sticking in there with me and being patient now now that's out of the way we're going to talk about the actual topic you see here on the um, title of the video yeah, don't be a liberal douchebag. Now, one of the title it, don't be a liberal bitch. But um, there's a possibility that that could get pulled off YouTube. And I just don't want to deal with that. So what do I mean by don't be a liberal douchebag? Well, if you're already feeling triggered and ready to pounce on me and go off, well, you're already a liberal douchebag right there. You see, I notice a lot amongst Marxism in modern Marxism, modern communist movement, <coughs> pardon, cobwebs, there's this tendency of liberalism, a lot, and it really needs to stop. You know, this whining uh, type of thing where people just flip out over every tiny little single thing someone says and they're basically offended by everything. And they fly off the handle and have a tantrum, a raging tantrum, and demand that you say sorry, you take back what you said, and you admit that you are this, and you are like that, and you're like that forever, and I'm going to constantly remind everybody that listen to me of it. You know, that type of raging tantrum, number one, can only be equaled by a four-year-old. And I teach children for a living, so I've seen plenty of tantrums by four-year-olds, and it's very similar to how liberals react, and liberalism in general reacts to everything. So just cut that bullshit out. You know, don't focus on these tiny little things that really amount to nothing and change nothing. Or even these tiny little issues that people want to think are so important. You know, to change things that are very easily changed. Let's take a soft liberal position and going after the easy things in society that are easy to fix and easy, easily dealt with. Those small little contradictions that liberals just love to get behind. Because it allows them to, you know, to flip out and run their fat fucking mouth and just be a general dick to everybody. And what I think what it comes down to a lot is why there are a lot of this liberalism and Marxism. Because liberalism allows people to take a, something that personally bothers them and make a big deal about it and self-gratify themselves. You know, like someone said, cunt. Oh no, you sexist bastard. Oh, I'm going to flip the fuck out. I can't be seen with you. You're such a sexist motherfucker. And I'm going to scream and shout about it and throw a raging tantrum. That type of shit. Shit similar to that. Stuff like that. Fucking stop. Just fucking stop with it, man. You know, it, while you're doing that, there is an entire political and social structure that's basically fucking everybody. But you're not really where you want to be focused on that. You rather distract yourself with little personal things that, you know, irk you and flip out over it. You know, instead of like focusing so much on what people say and do all the damn time, how about you focus on the institutions within the, within the structure of society that is creating these things or being supportive of these things and making these things possible in society? You know, why don't you focus on the system, the economic, the base of society, the economic system that oppresses all human beings and fucks everybody? How about you focus on that? How about you focus on actual oppression? For example, here in Japan, you could still go all and on, on and on all day long about Japanese this, Japan that. But, you know, when a woman gets arrested twice and then indicted for art that features her own vagina, or you're suddenly moot. 
You liberal pussy beta fuck don't have much to say then, do you? But, someone says the word cunt or bitch. Oh no, the world has come to a fucking end, hasn't it? Oh my goodness, let's go off. Let's get mad about that. Oh, my, you liberal fucking cunt. Get a life. Grow up. Put on your big boy pants and your big girl pants. And, you know, join us adults. And get serious about fighting capitalism. Look for when they actually go after people. For when someone actually does stand up to the system. And they actually are fighting it to make real change and real liberation for people. Real things worth fighting for. Real things worth getting upset about. You know? But I'm sure this video has enough language in it. Enough words. To give, you know, you liberal bitches who call yourself Marxist. Plenty of ammo and firepower. To go off on me and accuse me of a, any number of bullshit things. You do that. And you're just proving my point. You're proving me right and correct. Everything I'm saying here. So I'll finish this up by repeating. Cut that beta bitch, liberal, douchebaggery crap out. Myself and a lot of other people are sick of it. Fucking sick of it. And we're not going to put up with it anymore. It's going to stop. One way or another, goddammit, it's going to fucking stop. And you're going to grow the fuck up. And live, in the, live in this strange world called reality with the rest of us damn adults. And you're actually going to have to either start systemically fighting capitalism, looking at the systemic causes of things, or you're going to get the fuck out and go back to la-la liberal land where you belong. So until next time, this is me, John Dole, right here in Tokyo. If you enjoyed this video, ha, give it a like. If you hate it, like it anyways, and please leave some hateful comments too. I love seeing that shit. Yeah, I get my rocks off on it, actually. So until next time, this is me checking out.